When Innsworth School first opened the Devon Farm campus, it was little more than a barely completed construction site. Now nine years later, that same school has captured three straight football titles alone and holds a firm grasp on Tennessee sports in the Division II AA arena. What drives the success? How was Innsworth able to establish such a presence so quickly? Athletic director and associate head of high school Ricky Bowers believes there is more to success than just athletics. Truthfully, you can't, you can't unmarry the two. We really, what drove the campus was academics. What drove the build was academics. You can't divorce the two, it's impossible. So our athletic facilities, though excellent, they certainly don't outshine our academic facilities or our fine arts facilities. Or, you know, so our, um, our, our growth in every area has been pretty, paral pretty parallel, I think. Academics may have pushed the campus, but it is careful planning and strategic designs that brought Innsworth's top-of-the-line athletic facilities to life, according to Bowers. It was important that we built 100-year facilities. We didn't want to do something that we would have to undo in the short run. So we actually deferred some of our plans in order to build what we had well. It is those same 100-year facilities that some believe have given the Tigers a boost athletically. The, the court was actually designed by one of the students. During the planning process, layouts of the campus were displayed and student ideas were collected, including the design for the performance gym. There was everything. I mean, you can imagine oh, bowling of... alleys and go-kart tracks. and uh, But, you know, they had some great ideas, not the least of which. And then we put the you know, basketball court out and we let them um, come up with all kinds of designs. And the architects used some of those designs, and this is what we ended up with. We built a facility where when we have inclement weather, we have not a huge space, but we've got enough space for every team to come inside and get taught. You know, so we have a little motto, we don't cancel practice. Also in the Athletic Center is the 10,000 square foot fitness center. Seven full-time fitness experts are on staff to help ensure that each student receives a workout routine that is safe and geared toward their personal fitness needs. The test for us is, is in our graduates, you know, when they transition to college and the feedback has been fantastic, you know, they're coming back, they feel confident wherever they're going in whatever activity they're involved in going to college. They're not intimidated, but they've done it all. Open since January 8th of this year, the top of line auditorium has provided the opportunity for Innsworth swim and dive teams to host meets. The 22 lane swimming pool and instructional pool have also allowed the school to offer swimming courses. We thought that swimming and no fit fit swimming is something that's a lifelong skill that everyone that wants to stay healthy can participate in for a long time. the three-time defending state champion Tigers, the football field has seen its share of victories. Wins aside, the football stadium is currently the only outdoor facility with lights. Creating safe and spread out spaces was a key in the development of Innsworth's other outdoor facilities. Spread between the main campus and the Riverside campus, there is a baseball field, softball field, tennis courts, a soccer field, a track, and a practice field that also serves as the home of the lacrosse teams. Most of the competitive schools will have five and six fields that are lit. Um, we, though we have 126 acres, we really only have one, per, two performance fields. Um, so, you know, we're certainly not wanting. You know, we're not, we're not lacking. What we have is nice, but it's not too much. 